Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty early in the morning up here in Montana. Well, it isn't that early, but I thought I'd fire up this digital camera and give you folks a little talking about fly fishing. Uh, a lot of people don't understand why guys like me go out here and take these long rods and beat the water to death. Sometimes I wonder about it myself. <laughs> That's a joke. But the simple fact of the matter is, is 12 feed on waterborne insects. And insects that are not waterborne are called terrestrials like ants and grasshoppers and stuff like that, and they feed on that. Okay, these waterborne insects go through stages. They start out as larvae, if you will, then they go through a nymphal stage, and they're called nymphs, and believe you me, you're missing out as a fly fisherman if you don't learn about nymphs. I'm trying to dry fly fish today, by the way. But 80 to 90 percent of a trout's diet are nymphs. And after they go through the nymphal stage, they become what they call emergers. They'll, they'll rise up to the top and uh, become airborne, if you will. Kind of like what stone flies do and whatnot. There's a whole bunch of them that do the same doggone thing. But once they get airborne and whatnot, have you, then we're into a situation called dry fly fishing. Okay, uh, I primarily like to fish these mountain streams because the dry fly fishing is a lot of fun. You can, you know, you can see your fly, that is, if it doesn't get saturated and sink, which a lot of mine do. Uh, a lot of fly fishermen put up with that, especially when you're dealing with ripply water, water that's running real fast and stuff like that. But it's a lot of fun to dry fly fishing, but like I say, there's always different stages and that's what fly tying's all about, is to try to imitate, if you will, uh, all these different stages. Like I say, larvae, uh, uh, nymphs, emergers, dry flies, terrestrials, etc., etc., like that. So, in order to become a good fly fisherman, you got to kind of know something about bugs, entomology, entomology, or whatever have you. And these cycles just keep going on year round. Year round, these cycles keep going on. So, that's what every fly fisherman wants to get into is what they call matching the hatch, and that's where you select flies, especially in dry fly fishing, that kind of, not kind of, but duplicate as close as you can to the flies that are burning off from the bottom, okay? This is the science of fly fishing in a nutshell. Okay, I better get off the fishing because I don't plan on having a day like I did yesterday with this miserable digital camera. <laughs> All right, I hope that made some sense and thank you very much for watching the movie.